Hello everybody, I am Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com and I'm coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today I'm making you a card and a little treat holder. It is part of the One Stamp at a Time Design Team Blog Hop. Our theme today is mix it up. What the heck does that mean? We are mixing patterns and layers, and I have a really fun card I'm going to share with you. I also have that same card and treat holder in different color combinations. So let's get started, and I'll show you exactly how to recreate this card. So first of all, we're going to use the Country Bouquet stamp set and the Country Bouquet punch. I have the Baker's Twine Essential Pack here. This fun, wavy trim. I absolutely love this trim. We've got the nested essential dies. There are 12 different dies in here. Four, eight, 12, yes. 12 different dies in here in these shapes and they're stitched, which is always fun. I've got the iridescent pastel gems, which you can see I've used a lot of. I'm also going to be using some online exclusive products in these basic 3D embossing folders. You get a pack with all three of these patterns in them. And I happen to have some samples here. This is the one we're going to be using. I love this small pattern of like hash lines. Then we've got this that almost looks like some starfish or flowers and these fun polka dots. Now all three of these folders are 3D, so they really impress deep impressions. I've got ink pads here in the Fresh Freesia, Pool Party, and Lost Lagoon colors. And I've also got our fun Soft Subtle 6x6 Designer Series paper. This has hash marks on one side with hearts on the other. You get two sheets of each one. Then we've got polka dots and stripes that are kind of like a uh, watercolor pattern. Here's all the pretty colors and patterns. This is a great pack of paper. We have these packs in six by six in all of our color families. So I'm going to be using the pool party for the card that I'm sharing with you. And then, I've got basic supplies. I've got mini dimensionals, regular dimensionals, my multi-purpose liquid glue, take your pick tool, bone folder. I've got a chamois for cleaning my stamps in here and my best friend, which is my piercing mat. I wrap this with some printer weight paper and just tape it on with scotch tape. That's what I use to stamp on to keep my table clean and also gives you that little bit of cush that you need for large photopolymer stamps. If you ever have trouble with those, they don't stamp all the way because they're big, get yourself a piercing mat. You can find this in my online store. The link for that is right on my blog. Okay, so let's get started with our layers. I already mentioned, oops, I picked out the wrong color here. We're not using Pool Party. Hang on, we're using Fresh Freesia. So let's grab that right here. This is the this is the pattern of the Settles designer paper we're going to use for this card. Now I'm going to bring in all of my layers and I'm gonna let you know the size of these layers. So first of all, I have a card base here. This is four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. Then I've got, make sure these are right. I've got a four by five and a quarter inch pool party layer. I actually have two of those. I've got a piece of basic white that is three and three quarters by five. I'm just gonna set those two aside. A basic white medium sized envelope and then some scraps. I've got some pool party scraps and a basic white scrap. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to fold on that score line, burnish that edge good with that bone folder. And then we're gonna do some stamping and some die cutting. Our stamping is gonna be on this basic white. I'm going to take my pool party ink and my fresh freesia ink 
And I'm gonna get my chamois out here right away. This is what I use to clean my stamps if you've never seen one of these. You just take it and rinse it under water and squeeze it out until your water runs clear. I have mine in an empty stamp case. You can order these from my store. I think we still have these in stock. But that's how I store this. I just close it up. It keeps it moist. I've never had any problems with it getting icky as far as mold or anything like that. Now, with that being said, I have city water, which has a touch of chlorine in it. So if you have um, country water without any um, additives in it, you may want to leave it open, let it dry each time in between long periods of not stamping, which never happens at my house. <laughs> okay. Let's get our stamps out here. I am going to be using the Fresh Freesia with this outline heart. And I'm gonna take a look at my bouquet punch so that I know where is the best place to stamp this on my scrap so that I can punch it out easily. So I'm gonna stamp that there. Then I'm going to take the um, like watercolor striped hearts. There's, there's two hearts in this one. And I'm going to stamp those right here with the Fresh Freesia. We're going to clean off this stamp. And we're going to put it into the pool party so we can have the image in two colors. There we go. Next, we're going to use that punch and punch out our images. So we've got the two in the pool party. We've got the two hearts in the Fresh Freesia. Take these, oops, I just let it slide. There we go, I'm gonna get those centered. And then I stamped this one too close, so we'll just stamp that again and get that punched out. Now, this stamp set was actually released close to a Valentine's Day, but what I found is I've used it more for non-Valentine cards than I have for Valentine cards, and I really love that you have that option. This is not a Valentine card. Of course, it's July. I'm not that far ahead of the game. <laughs> okay, this particular layer. I took this and I cut this all up, and how I cut it, I'm going to share with you. I cut a piece that is, let's turn this over, three and five eighths by two and three eighths. Okay, so I cut that. And then I have this piece that is just a smidge larger than one and a quarter by two and three eighths. So I cut that and then cut these two pieces apart. And then I took and I cut just uh, a one and a quarter inch strip and this is one and a quarter, and then I cut at a little more, well, I should say, um, I cut at three and five eighths, sorry. So one and a quarter by three and five eighths. And then I cut this one at one and a quarter by one and a quarter. This piece is actually one and a quarter and three and five eighths, maybe just a touch longer, just a little sixteenth of an inch or even less. We want this to fit on our four by five and a quarter inch piece. So what I did is I made this one just a little bit longer than one and a quarter, and I made this one just a little bit longer than three and five eighths, and that makes it fit with even borders. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take these scraps and I'm going to grab my nested essential dies. I'm going to use the second from largest, and then I'm going to use the second from largest here in the banners. We're going to die cut these. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. And I come up with these, and I love the stitching around the edges on these. With this particular layer, I'm going to use my sentiment that says, I love that we are friends. I really like this sentiment because I can send this to any one of my friends Whoops, <laughs> for any type of card. Let me recut that because we're going to see that back. So hang tight. Here we go. We'll try that again. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, we're going to set this aside. That's going to be for our little treat holder. So Lost Lagoon ink. I wanted something just a little bit darker than the pool party. I'm going to stamp that right over here on the corner. 
And then before we put our stamps away, I'm going to stamp my envelope so that I have a matching envelope. I really do like that. And for my envelope, I want this big heart so I'm not inking up the smaller heart. And I'm gonna clean that off. I'm gonna come in with that little heart in the pool party and I'm just going to stamp that right there. And I think that is great. It makes my envelope look nice. I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Now we can get these put away and start assembling our card. So let's get these glued in place. I love to use liquid glue. I like that it gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can reposition without actually tearing it off your layer or your card front or whatever you happen to be working with. And then I'm going to go with, let's see, I'm going to go with this one. So I'm turning these over so I get the different patterns. And I really like this particular layout because, first of all, it shows you both sides of your designer paper, which I always think is fun. And Stampin' Up! does such a nice job coordinating with their patterns and colors. And then I like the break in between. I just think it's a really neat look. There we go. Okay, so we've got these all on here. I'm gonna bring this whole layer in and I'm going to emboss it in the Basics 3D hash embossing folder. And I like to put my cardstock up against the line that they show us on the bottom right here. That makes sure that it's straight, it's in there right. I know that this side is going to be the embossed side. I'm gonna run this through the machine. I'll be right back. And here comes that layer. And we've embossed the designer paper as well as that pool party background, which I think is a really cool look. Now we're ready for some of our wavy trim. And I'm going to set this in right about here. And I don't want to cover up my gaps between my designer paper with the wavy trim. So I think I'm going to actually lay it right here. Grab my snips. I'm going to put it just below where that gap is. And then you can use mini glue dots. I happen to always have um, a roll of tape on my desk. And so I use tape to tape that on the back. Make sure I have it straight here. There we go. And now we're going to get some placement on this. I'm going to put this right in here and then I'm going to arrange my hearts. So we're going to grab those regular size dimensionals and get those on this label. If you take your take your pick tool and poke it in at an angle, this will get those backings off. Sometimes they can be kind of hard to get off. That's just a good little tip. I've been doing that for a long time like that. Here comes our label. Isn't this pretty so far? This just makes me happy. Now I'm gonna take this white heart and I'm going to put it right back here. And then I'm going to come in, let's see, I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna put some glue just on the bottom of this heart. And then I'll put a mini dimensional right up here just to give it a little support. And we're gonna put this in right here. So that dimensional is behind that. This is glued onto the front. We're gonna add some glue on this one and set that down maybe right here. And then we're definitely gonna put some dimensionals on the back of these little hearts. And I've got my pool party one. I'll set that right there. And I think, uh, I think I'll bring this one right in over here. How pretty is that? I think I would like one more heart maybe right in here. What do you guys think? I think that's a good idea. That gap is like bugging me. So I'll put one more in there. You can put as many hearts on as you want. These are easy to punch out. Oh, super, super cute. Now, where did our card base go? Right here. 
So this is gonna be our card base. I'm going to add this to the front. Now when I use an embossing folder on a layer, I like to get that glue all the way around the edges because sometimes when you emboss the paper, it'll buckle on the edges a little bit. And as long as you have glue all the way around the sides, you won't see that. You'll get it glued down good. Let me get that straight. Again, the reason why I love the um, liquid glue. I just trimmed my sides a little bit. I think I cut my paper wrong. So now it looks a little more uniform on the sides. Okay, we're going to take some of these beautiful iridescent pastel gems. And I'm thinking, do I want to use these blue ones? Let's see what they look like. I'm just going to give it a little try here. Oh, I think that looks pretty. We'll go with that. And I'm going to maybe put one more right there. And then how about a little one right there? Good grief. Super cute card, right? Now, what am I going to do for my little treat holder? We've got this banner here. I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool. And I am going to poke a little hole right there in the center. Well, that's a little off center, but that'll be okay. Don't panic. Then I've got my Baker's Twine Essential Pack. I've got a little bit left on this roll. And I'm going to put this in here. And we're going to get this ready. So I just threaded it through that hole that I made. I've got one of our clear envelopes. You can find these by the regular envelopes if you have a catalog. If you don't have a catalog, you can just go online and do a search for clear envelopes, envelopes, envelopes. And I've got these fabulous taffies from the Jersey Shore. One of my team members sent them to me and they are delicious. So I'm gonna put these in this bag. I cut the flap off and now I'm just gonna take it and twist it a little bit. I'm gonna bring this wavy trim in. Now this card is something that I'm going to give to a friend that I'm going out to lunch with. I love to go out to lunch, that's my jam. <laughs> and I can give this to her and let her know how much I appreciate her taking time out of her day to have lunch with me. I love that. We're gonna decorate this up now. So I'm just gonna leave that twine on there. I've got some other hearts that I have cut out already. And I'm just going to start layering them on this tag so I can make my card match or make my treat match my card. I'm going to grab a dimensional and maybe one more right there. Throw this on here. Oh yeah, I like that. And then we've got one more here. Oh, I need, I need one more heart, hang tight. I think I've got one here someplace. I want a fresh freesia heart, so I'm going to make that happen. And again, I need to look at my punch to see how I'm gonna put that punch in there to punch this out, right? So here we go. I love punches. They're quick and easy. They're like my favorite. And we'll throw a mini dimensional on this heart. And we're gonna add that. How about just right there like that? And then how about one of these gems? Maybe I'll use a big one. And I'll put that right over here. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so, so cute. And now I'm going to, this twine, I chose this twine in the essentials pack because it matches the wavy in color. Linen thread was a little bit different color. So I was really glad that I had it. And now I'm just gonna cut this off 
and I just wrapped it around the top of the bag and now I'm gonna tie a bow, maybe. <laughs> That's my intention, is to tie a bow. Keep slipping away from me here. Tie a bow on here. There we go. Get those tails out a little bit. Seem to be a little shaky tonight. Maybe a little bit too much caffeine. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? Isn't this adorable? Sweet little treat gift for my friend. Here's the envelope, and I always like to decorate the insides of my card, so let me do that quick. I've got a little half inch strip of the designer paper here. I am going to put that on my three and three quarters by five inch white layer, just like that. My card base is white, but I wanted some pizzazz inside, so that's why I put another four by five and a quarter inch pool party layer in here so I can put that on the inside of my card. I can get it open. And of course you could stamp on the inside, but I'm gonna leave mine blank so I have plenty of room to write. And if you don't like to write a lot, just write big. <laughs> That's what I do when I don't have a lot to say. Okay, look at this, you guys. How adorable is this cute little set? And then I told you I had this in another color, so I will share that with you. Set that right over here. Here comes the Lemon Lolly, and I've got a petal pink card base with Calypso Coral. And I got all of these color combinations right off of the color coach that Stampin' Up! has available to us to tell us which colors coordinate with, with each other. And that's how I designed the colors for these projects today. Now, I am going to share a downloadable link on my blog, www.astampabove, that will allow you to print out the color coach so that you can have all of these color ideas at your fingertips. This is something that I like to do. I take these and print them out on cardstock and I cut them and punch a hole in them and put them on a big three ring or a big um, ring binder. And then I have these available. So if I want to make a card with Berry Burst, I know that Berry Burst, Granny Apple, and Smoky Slate are good color combinations. Every year, Stampin' Up! gives us an updated version of this. So all I have to print out is the new in colors to put on here. And I love having this available when I'm designing cards. So if you head over to my blog, not only are you going to get to go on the blog hop today, where you're going to click on a link, it'll take you to someone else's blog, where you can see what their mix it up card idea is mixing patterns and layers. And um, you'll also be able to get this link to print this out. This is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. It's what keeps free videos coming your way. If you have an order under $150, please use this code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you to have them. Please make sure you head to my online store. You'll find a link in the right-hand column on my blog. You will only find these basic 3D embossing folders in the online exclusives in the online store. We have some other fabulous items that were just added. And right now, during the month of July, when you order $50, you get a $5 coupon code that Stampin' Up! will email to you that you can use on an order in August. And you get one for every $50. So you can really accumulate, stock up on the supplies you need or want, and you can accumulate a good discount for an order in August. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I am always happy to help you out. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Go hop. There's a link right up here in the corner. Go check out the hop. Head over to my blog. You're going to love it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.